What's up, what's up, what's up? I had to come change out my own serpentine belt on this here truck. I had one belt on here, it was too tight. I put another belt on there, it's too loose. So I'm about to take the too loose belt off, put the other belt on, it's too tight. And um, see if I need to either go smaller on the pulley. Well, I can't go up on a belt unless I give me a custom size belt because I went up the next size up and that was just too um too loose. I brought my boy with me. Let him take a ride. What's up, boy? What's up, boy? Let him take a ride with me. Oh, must he pulled your damn thing off, man? I gotta keep him chained up when he back here because um a few months back I brought him in. Put him on the back of the truck. He was doing good. Drove about an hour away. Came back, no problem. Man, I went to pull off again. He jumped off the back of the truck right when I was getting on the freeway. So that's a wrap on him. Now you gotta get treated like a little puppy and be locked up at all times. All right, what's up with y'all, man? I got me one of those, these new little, um, tripod things hands free so I can videotape with myself in the camera I'm looking at the wrong way I should be looking right here it's kind of hard I gotta get used to that but anyway um so we pulled it off yesterday too I'm gonna die hard die hard who that all right so the belt I got on there man is way way too loose Let's see if I got my boy y'all can see him in the background a little bit right there right right up on my shoulder right here Mugs it. Surprised he didn't jump out there. Y'all took him off the leash and normally he'll uh he'll he probably jump off there before I finish this though. Well anyway, um yeah I like uh, I man I like to work on my own stuff because the way I see it with YouTube and the tools I have, even if I don't know what I'm doing, I can kind of figure it out. And if not, then I can bring it to the professionals and let them figure it out. But if I get it done myself, I save myself a few dollars. And uh, cause when it comes to trucks, like commercial trucks, but it charge out the wazoo. I mean, something you might get done, I might get done on my truck right here, my Silverado, 200 bucks. When it come down to this truck, they gonna want 800 to 1,000 for the exact same thing. So like I said, I kind of go on YouTube videos, little bullshit, and I kind of figured out myself. Now with this one here, it's simple, the belt. The belt just was way too tight. When I was putting the belt on there, I never put a serpentine belt on that, that, that was that tight. So I knew something was wrong with it. So I put it on there and I cranked it up. Everything ran smooth. The next morning, I cranked it up and I heard a squealing sound. So when I looked, the belt had started um, being chewed away. And I think just cause it was too tight. So I went and got the bigger belt, put it on there, but the belt is way too loose now. And I know it's supposed to be that loose, which is crazy cause I went one size up. Well, I went two sizes up. That was too, too loose. Then I came down the size, came down the size until I was one size uh, up from the belt that was too tight. So that's where I'm at now. I'm one size up. So what I'm gonna do next is, I'm gonna pull this um this belt off. I'm gonna go get the original belt I had on there and I'm gonna see about going smaller with the pulley. But I'm gonna show y'all, let me see. As you can see, man, this is the um, Super Team belt right here. And that's way, way, 
I mean, the belt is so loose, it's kind of, you can see it boring out right there. Now, if I could have this belt a half inch tighter, it'd have been on point. But anyways, what I'm gonna try to do is, I'm gonna try to either go smaller. I'm gonna put the original belt on it that's way too tight. I'm gonna try to go smaller with either this pulley off the alternator or see if I can change the pulley out that's on the on AC compressor. Now, if that's something I can't do myself, then I'm gonna have to go to the shop and let them do it. It's like, I understand what's going on. I understand the concept, but if I just can't do it, then I'm gonna go ahead and um, pay the money and let somebody else do it. But I'm gonna try to get at it myself first. All right, so this is what we got. Man, this is real, real simple. Like I said, with any car, it's super simple. All you need is the diagram, diaphragm on how the, um, the bell go on and off. And if you don't have that, you can look on YouTube. There you go right there. Which, I ain't gotta explain that. But anyway, all you do is go to the tension pulley, which is this one. And right now I'm just loosening it up so I can pull it off. And I'm putting this right inside there, no socket or nothing. It fits right in place. So all I'm gonna do is um let the tension off, pull it off, go to hardware store, get another belt. Plain and simple. Now the problem I'm gonna have with this one is the other belt is so so tight, it's gonna take maybe two hands to put it on. I'm gonna try to do it myself, but it might take two hands. That's how tight the other belt is. But I'm gonna go ahead and get it try it myself. I need two hands, so let me cut this off so I can take this off here. Alright, so I got the belt off, and man, as quick as y'all seen the scenes flip, that's how quick it was. Like literally a minute to get it off. Just the belt, brand new belt, man. You can see it, no way in town. Like I said, I only cranked it up. I seen this too loose, so I'm going back to the hardware store to give me another one. Now I gotta lock Geronimo back up before he try to run and jump off here again. Hold on, let me see. Uh, cut it out, boy. You my road dog for the day. Yeah, he on go mode. I shoulda. Yeah, that'd have been gangster. Huh. I don't know if I should even do that. I got my own, um, my little action camera that would be nice if I put it on the back of this, um, on the truck and film him while I'm riding. What's up, bro? You want that? Muggsy, you want that? You know, okay, you just wanna ride. All right, let me get back to work. Catch y'all in the next scene. All right, made it to the spot. <clears throat> Had to put on my heavy pressure face mask, safety first. Now I'm about to go in here and go back and forth and back and forth and talk about how the belt wasn't right. And I got a warranty, I had a lifetime warranty. I need another belt, but I need to transfer that warranty. I need a phone, I'm mean, that's crazy. I went through this before and it took a while, so I already know it's gonna take a, a good little while again doing it, but give me a minute. Oh, and this is where we at. It's the best place to come in when you want your parts, either here or Napa. Man, Advance Auto. Advance Auto is okay, but AutoZone, they're a piece of shit. But that's why I come to. You pay a little bit more, but you get more knowledge than you do at AutoZone. What's your with your back? He just chilling. Long for the ride, doing what he's supposed to do. Hey, Muggsy. You gonna wash the truck while I'm gone, man? All right, cool. Uh, y'all know where we at. If y'all follow me, y'all know where we at. We we chilling, man. We out here relaxing. Got me a nice little shade spot. The wind blowing. I needed some. I needed to think, so I come out here when I want to think. Either sitting in my backyard, relax with the bulls, or come out here. And I got this boy with me. I'ma let him off the leash. Let him run around out here for a second. But. I'm out here to think, but I gotta let you know what I'm thinking about. All right, so what happened is I went in there, went through all the belts, explained everything to them, what I'm trying to do, what I got. I have a 2010 Ford F550, and 
I have a Dodge mold in it. The guy who I bought the truck from, he put the Dodge mold in it. If you know anything about commercial vehicles or just trucks in general, especially when they come to diesel, Dodge is top notch. And a new thing they got going on is people taking the Fords and putting a Dodge mold in it because Ford make a better overall truck and Dodge make a better motor. So that's what I got right now. The reason I'm thinking that belt is that tight is because I'm thinking a guy switched out. He put that Dodge mode in there, but he used the Ford accessories, which was, you know, the alternator, the uh, AC compressor, tensional pulley, everything that go on the motor, the add-ons. And one of those pulleys is too big for that motor. That's why it's so tight. And I think the reason they went with it is because even though it's tight, it fit, which is, you don't want that because it can be so tight. It can be wearing out the bearings and everything because it's pulling it's pulling together too much as it's turning, you know. So that's why I came out here. I just want to sit here and think. And I'm going to do my research. I'm going to look up the um, the Ford um, AC compressor. I'm going to look up the the Cummins, which is a Dodge AC compressor. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit there and measure and see, you know, if one is too big, one is too small, whatever from there, and figure out what I'm going to do. If that don't work, I'm going to go ahead and just put my belt on. And I'm going to bring it to the shop. I know a guy that um they that was working on my 18-wheeler. He works on all Dodge motors, Cummins, anything commercial vehicle. So, like I said, I'm going to try to save myself a buck. And if it's that, I'm going to switch it out myself. If not, I'm going to go ahead and bring it over there. But as of now, me and Muggsy about to chill, get off the back of this truck, and just relax for a little while. Jump off you, I'm at the foot you, man. Come on, bro. Come on. Hey. Come on. Now you jump off a moving truck, but he don't want to jump off this truck. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, he had me now. He knew you about to run loose. Clearing out more and more, man. They mess with the wildlife. That's why in the morning you'll see a bunch of deer. All in the backyards, the front yards. Because they're clearing out too much space, man. They take away from their habitat. Yeah, but this, this is life right here, man. You don't get no better than this. They got a little trail somewhere back here. They ain't been told that all up. I'm try to get back here and let this boy loose. Yeah, that is right back here. I see a little wood platform. Last time I walked back here, <laughs> I had a snake ran across my left feet. I don't deal with snakes. You can throw some coyotes at me. I don't deal with no snakes, believe me. Snakes and spiders, you can have them. That's why I had to make that move. No snakes. Y'all catch that. This is one of the little trails. I will show y'all this little box, this little map, but then I'm gonna have people pop my address on here. <laughs> I 
I was about right here when that snake ran across my feet. Come here, get you off this leash. There you go. How they tearing this up, man? It's a damn shame. Clearing out all this space. This will bring me peace though. My 40 acres in the mule. I ain't never bring him back here. I used to bring heavy back here, half pint. This is first time coming back here though. Shit, he won't take the shit back here. On top of them people bad. Well, I ain't gonna say them people, but on top of that basketball, y'all can't really see it through the camera that good. Muggsy, you down bad, bro. You down bad, man. Why you rocking like that, bro? Mugs it is open to the public for start. Y'all just shoot me an email. We can get it going from there. Oh, man. It's the life. It don't get no better. Believe me. I ain't see it all, but I just seen a lot of it and did a lot of it. It won't get too much better than this here, though. You got to enjoy yourself. Enjoy life. Sometimes you got to stop. And what they say, smell of coffee, smell of roses. That shit the truth, man. And I want to send a prayer out to everybody. That's going through some with these hurricanes. I know um, Lake Charles, y'all done got hit hard back to back, man. Louisiana in general. Like I said, at this point, I'm just keeping all y'all in my prayers and hoping, hoping it works itself out, you know? I know the insurance and the FEMA and all that stuff, man, that could be a headache. We went through it during uh, Hurricane Harvey <clears throat> and Hurricane Katrina, but when Katrina hit, Shit, I was, what, 19? I was a little boy, man. I ain't own no property or really lose none other than, you know, shit, young cats try to head to be fly, clothes and shoes and jewelry and all that. But as a grown man going through um, Harvey, that was crazy. <laughs> that was, man, that was crazy, you know. Basically, we, you know, rebuilding slash remodeling your home to all your vehicles getting caught in the water. I don't wish that on nobody. I'm gonna tighten that up because it keep on moving up. I'm trying to show this boy, but it ain't showing up. Let me see. Hold on. There you go. He just exploring these some woods, man. Like I said, some new for him. I'll walk him, you know, on the other side. We'll go through it, but it'd be like little trails. It don't really be in a, in a, in a thick like this one here. It's, Muggsy! My boy try to... Hey! He gonna try to go up out here. Tell you, boy, you give him an inch, they gonna wanna take the yard. Let me see if it'll work for you. I know when I keep him in the backyard and I clap, he'll go to his kennel. But I don't know how that's gonna work with us being out here. I'm gonna put it to the test. Hold on. Get this thing stable first. I'm looking down and roll around. He done picked his head up and looked at him, but he ain't running this way. I guess he feel like we ain't at the kennel. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, 
OK. You know what it is, boy. And I think I got this shit tight, you know what I'm saying? Something else I gotta tighten up on there. Alright man, I ain't gonna hold up too much more of y'all time. I done held y'all for a good little minute. And all these clips I got, <clears throat> I gotta sit and put these together in the video. And it's gonna be a long, a nice lengthy video. So <clears throat> I'll get with y'all the next go around. God bless everybody.